Hey everyone, it's me. Uh, I'm here to show some of the few dolls I've gotten recently. I'm not going to be buying many dolls lately and within the next, within a while. Um, money's going to be a little tight, so I'm probably going to be looking to trade more, maybe. Um, and um, maybe get some of my other dolls fixed up. And stuff like that. But, um, I've re received uh, some few dolls within the past while. Some of them were given to me, and some of them I just happened to come across at yard sales. Um, I, just, I forgot something for one of them. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, one of them here is um it's not really defined whether it's mine or if it's just to me on loan until this person could get you know a place better but this was given to me by my friend tina this sat in her room and i have repaired this baby two times already this is an ashton drake reborn baby i don't know her name she is kind of cute not in the best condition i'm going to tell you that now she has a few nicks on the face if anyone knows what I can do about that, come contact me. She's missing a set of eyebrows and the other set is about to come off. And um, I've had to put her foot back on because it fell off. And so I had to replace this, the zip tie in it. And in her head, I've had to replace the zip tie in her head. They held her head in. This is not her original outfit. I put her in this outfit because I thought it was cute. And where else am I going to use these clothes? It says Pretty Princess. But, um, I think her name is Ruth or Ruby or something like that. I don't know. I can't remember. But this doll sat in a little crib that was way too small for her for years. And, um, my friend recently moved out of her house and she said she didn't have nowhere to put it. She didn't have nowhere to keep it, and when she went over to check on it one day, she picked it up and his head just fell right off. So, she, and she, I've repaired, I had repaired it before. So she just said, "Do you want it?" I said, "Sure, I'll take it." But and uh, she gave me the cradle too, but the cradle is not technically mine. When they're when they can get a place uh, with big enough room, I'm to return the cradle. And she gave me a rocking chair too. I'm return. I need to return the cradle and the rocking chair to her, because those were made by her great grandpa, and they were actually used. So, yeah. Just gonna hold her up to the camera. As you can see, yeah. But she's still cute. I mean, she's an Ashton Drake doll. I think. Tina said her mom spent about $300 on this doll. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, the way she's been falling apart, I wouldn't pay that much. But she's cute, and she's a good addition to my doll collection. And she's kind of the first reborn baby I have. You know, I was, she, it, it needed a good home. It was that or let it sit in a trailer that's full of dolls. I mean, dogs that have been crapping everywhere. So I think I made the good choice. Okay. At a yard sale, I picked up this girl for one dollar. She is a Keener 1995 fortune teller doll. I think her name's Stella or something like that from my, my friend Brian told. But she works. She had no batteries in her when I bought her, which is a good thing. That means they did not leave them in there to corrode. Uh, you ask her a question, and the, her crown lights up to give you the answer. Unfortunately, she's supposed to have a wand. I do not have a wand, but a magnet, a good magnet, works just as well. It's like, do you like being on YouTube? Apparently, she likes to be on camera. Okay. She works. I had to fix her hair a little. It's nice now. And, um, I love how underneath she has a built-in 
little thing, you know, it was like decency. Usually these days they're like naked underneath. At least when you take her outfit off to wash it, she looks like she has something on. Okay, I also bought this one at yard sale. I've been to this yard sale twice, and I saw these both of these dolls twice. And I just looked at them, and then I saw one of these dolls on Facebook. And they were talking about it, and I was like, huh, I saw a doll just like that the other day at, the yard, at a yard sale. And she's like, you should have bought it. And so this is Getting Glamorous Kimberly. Of course, her hair was a mess when I got it and I had to fix it. She had, someone thought it was nice to stamp her forehead. I've been trying to clean it off and it's still, you know, a work in progress. I need to get some Oxy stuff. They stamped her hand too. I'm going to have to clean that too. But otherwise, she came out great. Oh, get some of this out of her hair. She came out looking great. She has nice hair and everything. Outfit. She doesn't have her shoes. But still, she's great. One dollar. One dollar. Yeah. Okay. And y'all have seen this girl before. It's just I finally got some batteries for her. And... Yay. Okay. Cricket! Which, by the way, she is a lot heavier with batteries than her. I'm going to demonstrate her, but I do not have a Cricket tape. Sorry. So I'm going to be playing a Hallmark Presents Diana Ross Making Spirits Bright. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know this is going to look horrible, but I just want to demonstrate that she does work. But, um... If anyone has some cricket tapes they'd be willing to trade or sell for cheap, hit me up. I'm interested. But yeah, just to demonstrate that she works. Um, sorry, I'm going to have to do a little undressing here. I got another outfit for her. It's pink. We went to Goodwill stores the day after Easter where everything was 50% off. And I found a cute little outfit for her on the $1 rack, so that means it was 50 cents. <laughs> Needless to say, I bought a lot of dog clothes that day. Okay. I have to rewind a bit. Okay, well, maybe it Sometimes her mouth will freeze up. Where does that voice come from? Come on, it's a lovely 
I think that's enough of that. Uh, it's just, it's, in other words, she's a great doll, and I would really like to get some cricket tapes for her. Um, and I'm very happy I have her. Thank you again, Heather. She's she's great. Um, ooh, I even found some cheese for her. And, but, um, that's basically all the dolls I've gotten except for a Rag Deanne or Andy here and there. Um, I'm hoping things will get back on track with the money pretty soon. And I'm hoping I'll get a, a job pretty soon. Oh, what it would be like to actually have a job in a doll shop. <laughs> but, of course, for me, I'd have to drive to North Carolina and every day and that wouldn't work out for me um, because the nearest doll shop is in North Carolina but yeah so um hit me up with if you would like to trade or if you have some cricket tapes or um, tips for how to get the marks off of my Kimberly or um Anything to do with the Ashton Drake doll, etc. Um, I think I'm going to put a video up later on talking about dolls I'd like to trade or I will trade or so on. But um, thank you for watching my video and I hope everyone has a great day and a great weekend. Bye!